Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 12th. Uh, this week, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so if you have not checked her out yet, please do so at the link in the description below. But uh, let's see what's going on for you this week. Uh, looks like a possibly financially focused week as well. A little bit of love coming in here as well, uh, which would be nice. Why is that coming up? Okay. And uh, yeah, okay. Now I get it. All right. So this week, you start with the Eight of Diamonds. Very good for money and more money coming in. It's a card of material success and, and having material success and even unexpected uh, financial opportunities and surprises coming in for you, which would be nice, and opportunities to do random side projects as well. Uh, all these things. It's even a card of starting businesses and making money with businesses as well. Uh, new jobs, investments. It's just a card of money. Even under a lot of card reading systems, they just call this card money. So uh, there's a lot of opportunities. But I am feeling that for some of you, a lot of you could have like some sort of little uh, side gig going on this week or somebody could offer for you to like, I don't know, babysit or something like that. But it could be, you never know, it could give you a little bit of extra pocket cash that could be very beneficial. Uh, also great for budgeting and saving and planning on saving money as well. And possibly also, uh, I normally wouldn't say this, but possibly also moving. It seems like every single water sign is moving. I don't know what's going on there, but y you know, uh, you have a, well, I'm moving, so I do know what's going on there, but, uh, you do have the, uh, four of diamonds, ace of diamonds, plus this card. This card is not normally a moving card, but I would say the combination makes it, uh, more of a moving card in a lot of ways. Uh, next you have the ace of diamonds. Again, very good money card. Great for prosperity and abundance. Also great for starting new things. I would definitely encourage you to start something new this week as well. Just in general. I know that's very general, but, you know, like any new projects you could start, any any new ideas that you could start would be a good idea for you this week, I think. Um, if somebody comes to you and offers you a new job, that would probably be beneficial, especially if you've been stuck in something old. Again, it looks like maybe some of you are stuck in something old. If you could just update it, it would probably uh, really go your way in a lot of ways. So um, very, very interesting. This is a card of being an innovator, though. So a lot of you who are out there innovating, who are doing new things or whatever, just know that uh, it is a card of experimentation. A lot of you could be experimenting with new things in your life, and that would also be very beneficial as well. Next, you have the Four of Diamonds, a card of money and definitely more money coming into your home. So a lot of you, again, there's definitely money coming in. It is also a card of patience. Just keep going. You know, I've definitely, I think, over the past few weeks and everything have seen how uh, Scorpio just needs to be very, uh, you know, deliberate in the things that they do, but also very perseverant and very just kind of just keep going with the things that you're working on. Um, you know, it is that card of these these cards just in general, and especially the ones you've had over the weeks, again, are cards of just not giving up and just keep going on whatever it is that you're working on because things are working. You might just not see um, how things are working, um, you know, kind of behind the scenes, but things are definitely happening for you as well. I feel like a lot of you are building things up as well. Like if you're working on something in social media or on YouTube or whatever, or you're working on something like in a business, it might not be working, but it is working it's just building up kind of like behind the scenes so a lot of you just keep going because it's like all of a sudden i see how someday it's just gonna click and you're gonna have all that momentum behind you uh, you have a lot of momentum cards you have two eights so i think a lot of you are building momentum in life in general and and like i said that's gonna hit all at once and then you know kind of like you're gonna blast off so don't quit this week this right here, Eight of Hearts, very good card. Again, very similar to that other eight, the Eight of Diamonds, more prosperity and abundance. Great card for socializing as well. If you're looking for love or anything like that, or just looking to have a good time, this is a card where if people invite you out, go. Um, you know, people want you to go to the bar or whatever, or want you to hang out, or go to a party, or go to a wedding, or anything. Go. It says this is a card of taking people up on all their invitations because. You, not only will you have a lot of fun, but you could very well get swept off your feet by somebody as well. A lot of you could even be get get swept off your feet in business. Like you could meet somebody through your business or through a business or at work as well. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Hearts. Maybe having some doubts about love, not really being sure what to do. I think this will clear up after the retrograde. I think this card is just saying that the this retrograde is very doubtful in a lot of ways. Um, next, you have the Two of Spades came out with the uh, Three of Diamonds. Uh, I feel like some of you are letting little things go and starting something new. That's what these two cards would represent, letting something go so that you can start something new. So definitely don't be afraid to let stuff go this week. Uh, very simple message. I'm not getting much off of these two. And you end with the three of hearts. 
card of emotional happiness, card of being very happy and having a lot of good things happen for you. So again, I think there's a lot of happiness for you this week um, and even love coming in. I know a lot of you, you know, Scorpio, like I say, is like the number one sign that hits me up about love. So, you know, definitely love coming in for you or the opportunities for love as well. And also long distance too. I, Scorpio, you're the only one that gets the long distance love message Maybe, well, Leo had it once too, but, uh, you, you know, definitely a p potential there uh, as well. So very interesting, but very good cards. Thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your week.